Cruz isn't looking at lemonade, he's looking at lemons in next week's New York primary. Trump has a commanding lead and Kasich is second. Cruz has the slimmest chance of winning the nomination in the remaining primaries and Kasich has no chance. Both are essentially counting on the first contested convention in 40 years. For Kasich, there's a primary paradox. Polls show that he is the only Republican who would beat Hillary Clinton, but he has lost every nominating contest except his home state of Ohio. We spoke to the two-term governor and former congressman late today. The irony is you are the most likely Republican to win in November and the least likely to be nominated. Well, it's a little early to say that. I mean, we have to get to a convention, and when you get to the convention, it's, uh, it's going to be a kind of a wide-open affair. How do you make the argument in America that the guy who gets the most votes doesn't win? We've had 10 contested Republican conventions, 10. And of the 10, only three times did the front runner, uh, was the front runner selected. Seven times it was somebody other than the front runner. But you're number three. I can understand an yeah. argument. So, for was, Link so the was Lincoln. Well, Lincoln... Uh, I'm not Lincoln, but so was Lincoln. Yeah, and this ain't 1860 no, either. No, that's right. But, Governor, you're not the front runner. You're not the second runner. Mm -hmm. You're way off yeah. in third. Right now. You could make an argument for the guy who came in second, yeah. but that's not you. Think of it this way. Coke, Pepsi, Kasich, right? You go to the store, you're with your spouse, and your spouse says, well, you know, I kind of like that Kasich, but I don't know that much about him. As, as we've seen more and more of my message be able to be communicated, uh, we're getting bigger crowds, and that'll translate into delegates, and delegates will translate into momentum. What's your tax plan? Who gets a tax cut? Who gets a tax increase? Well, we would lower it. It's sort of the Reagan plan, 28, 25, 10 percent with 15 percent capital gain, and also increasing the earned income tax credit so that people at the bottom are going to, have, going to have the incentives to be able to make more money without being punished. Nobody gets a tax increase? Nobody, no. Do you tear out Obamacare oh, yeah. root and branch? Well, the reason you want to... Start all over Well, again. except you, don't, you want to make sure that anybody who has a pre-existing condition can still get health insurance. That's absolutely critical. On foreign policy, we asked about ISIS, which he calls the barbarians. How do you destroy the barbarians, as you say? Well, in the air and on the ground with an Arab-Muslim uh, 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 coalition like we had when we defeated Saddam with Western Europe involved. U.S. combat troops on the ground. For sure. In I mean, Syria. There's no way. In Iraq. But not, but not designed to topple, not to be in, in the middle of a civil war, but basically to destroy ISIS. The Kasich White House is going to war. Well, let me just say, it's not the Kasich White House, it's all the civilized world that needs to go to war. What hardship in your life formed your character? Well, my parents were killed by a drunk driver in 1987. That was tough. Uh, I mean, tough is an understatement. Uh, as a kid, you know, I grew up in a blue-collar town where if the wind blew the wrong way, we saw people out of work. I mean, I had a great childhood. But the most traumatic time in my life was the night I found out that one of my parents was dead and, and the other would be soon. Where do we see your mom and dad in your campaign? Probably, you know, in my heart and in my head. You know, my mother was very opinionated and very, very smart, under, you know, undereducated, high school diploma, but came from a very poor uh, family. My father had the twinkle in his eye, and he was the one that was connected to all the neighbors. As he delivered the mail, he delivered a lot more. He delivered compassion and he delivered hope. And my mother always said, Johnny, shoot for the stars, change the world where you live. When you say you want to leave the convention united, yeah. can the party unite behind Cruz? Can the party unite behind Trump? I think it's very, very hard for people to turn around negative impressions in a relatively short period of time. Listen, when so, I... So, no, the I, party well, cannot I, but, unite well, they, behind they Cruz could, and they, Trump. They, you know, the party could unite. Uh, you know, we can say, okay, this is our person. But at the end, can they win? And in virtually every, as you mentioned at the top, virtually every poll, I am the only one that beats Hillary Clinton. If Trump is the nominee, you're not going to work for him. You're not going to campaign for him. Well, let's wait to see who we have as a nominee, and then I'll, I'll be let you know, because that way we can have a, another interview. Governor John Kasich.